Hello again, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. So I've just got here to look at a Peugeot Expert uh, Citroen, it's also known as a Citroen Dispatch, I think, maybe a Fiat Scudo and others. But yeah, it's got some DPF related issues that he's normal mechanic, he said, won't, didn't want to touch. So let's get inside and have a look at it. Okay, so if we start the van up, we're getting some errors. Got a little spanner like there for the service on here. We should get some messages up over here soon. Engine fault, repair needed, risk of particle filter clogging. And there is one more, I think. Particle filter additive level low. So just down here you got a little warning triangle symbol. Okay, I've been using this for a while now. We'll use it again on this video. Uh, it's the Tinkar Tink Scan 689BT. Right, we'll do a scan and I'll put a link where you can buy this scan tool in my video. I've got a link here where you can buy it with a. It's under £500 with a lifetime updates that are free basically. So that's the model, it's a 2015 Peugeot Expert. Do a health report. Right, so here's some of the fault codes we have. P15B3, additive level calculated lower than minimum. Additive le adding calculated below the critical threshold. And then we've got one here, a P1443 electrical fault on the power of the additive pump. And we're going to ignore this one, start and monitor. Number plate lights, just all other stuff like that that we're going to ignore. So we're going to go into the engine ECU. And we'll go here to data stream, exhaust line information. Click on that. This one. We've got different sort of translations of the same thing here, and some of them will give you an accurate reading, some of them don't. So it depends. So this is how much can go in the tank, is what I'm reading here, and we have less than 300 mil. It's probably empty. That's just a calculated. It doesn't actually have an, a gauge in it. It just calculates on, on what's in there. 54 grams of additive was d deposited in the particle filter. Uh, minimum level has passed. Distance remaining before the particle filter needs replaced, 22,600 miles. We are currently on 119. So I would say that was reset at some point in its life before. So it looks like we're going to need to refill the additive tank and possibly have to replace the tank as well. So to try and test the tank I'm going to go to special functions and we are going to go at replacement parts Let's see if we can find it in here. It's in different areas and different sort of vehicles so replacement of the additive tank okay we'll switch off the ignition back on that was a bit quick I can't hear what I'm hoping to hear is that we can hear some ticking coming from the floor after we've done that but we can't hear that after sales operation, no, we don't want to do force regeneration. Go back. That special function. We've only got that option on there, so that's not what we're looking for. So if we can't find what we're looking for in the Peugeot system, it's worth checking in the Citroen system. So we'll go back and we just do a
diagonals, manually go to Citroen. Okay, so we're in the Citroen system now, and you see if we go to special functions, we have different options. Replacement parts, we've got that option. Other special functions, we still haven't got like a, just an additive refill I'm looking for. What I didn't check on the Peugeot system was going into the BSI, I didn't do that on the Peugeot system, so we'll check it here on the Citroen. Okay, it's not available in there. Back at the engine, let me just check back here again. Pack reparation, replacement parts. Filling of the additive, that's the one we're looking for. Okay, so the weather's been quite terrible. I haven't been able to record everything, but basically what we've done here, we've filled up the pack fluid um, tank. The the wire, there was a, a, a break in the wire, so that's been fixed. Obviously now the tank hasn't given back the circuit error fault. We've cleaned out the DPF, because it was sitting at around eight millibars. We've got it down to two millibars. Um, so clean the tank. Filled the pat fluid tank, we've reset the fault codes and basically fixed the wire and that's it basically. Right, if we go back to the live data on here and we look at we're looking for the additive tank. Not that one. Volume of additive, that one and that one. Okay, so we're now we're on that. You can see that we've reset that up to the 1.6 litres and the minimum level is now not reached. So that's all sorted because we've obviously doing that we've used a, uh, I don't know what I've included, but obviously in the special functions when we reset the tank, that resets the additive level. Fault code has now disappeared. So we don't have any more circuit errors or low, low fluid errors. We still got these ones for the number plate lights and the rear brake light bulb. Okay, that's it. We're all finished on that one. Um, I know I didn't include enough information in this video, but look, I've got plenty of other videos if you want to see something a bit more in depth where we're actually filling the tank, checking the wires, and it's other stuff like that. It's all been done. Obviously, like I said, the rain here it's it's calmed down a fair bit now, but we had a lot of heavy rain earlier, and I just needed to get the job done. So I'll see you in the next one.